here today showing the brand new biter laser. This is the Box CV2 laser. It has uh, a horizontal, a pump diode at the top. You get your 360 degree horizontal all the way across and it has two vertical lines also. So the vertical lines are great for setting tile, uh, inside corners of walls. It's a great all around laser. The green beam is running at a 399 and the red beam is 299 it's very affordable it comes in this great case and as usual uh, Jenny includes multiple methods of power you have your double A's you have your rechargeable pack and you can power it up to, with direct current plugging it right into the wall so another really cool feature about the biter lasers the BART lasers and this new laser is coming with this magnetic angle base and you can actually set it on an angle for running trim up a stairway or setting tile on the floor. And what's really cool about it is the nut is reversible. So this comes off and then the laser will mount here. You have a wall mount as well. So a couple of cool features about this is you have the two slotted holes. So if, you're, if you want, you could screw it into a two by four, hook it on and screw it. It's a real sturdy. Or if you have a nice column that you don't want to screw into, they have this really cool slot here and you can wrap it around with zip ties and zip tie it to a surface as well. And that'll hold it there. So here's a steel post to give you an idea. So this base is extremely strong. Obviously it's stronger than what's necessary to hold those lasers up. And it's more than what you need. You can feel confident with mounting your $700 laser on that bracket without it falling off. Another cool thing about the bracket is you have your quarter 20 bolt for your regular tripods and you have the 5 8 thread for the heavy duty construction tripods as well. Okay. As with all the biter lasers, this laser has the lock feature. So it makes it easy when you're wanting to rotate the laser on an angle. So the pendulum locks in place. And then when it's on the regular on setting, it's floating. And as you can see, it's not level enough to set it. So they set a nice bubble in the top so you can kind of preset it and get it close. And then obviously it's self-leveling after that. So as with all the other biter lasers, you have this button right here controls your receiver. So if you're using this in an outdoor environment and the green beam seems a little dull because of the sun, you turn this button on. And what this does is it'll activate the receiver option, which is a $99 option. So you will be able to use the receiver and it'll beep, it'll tell you exactly where it is. And the reason Biter has that as a separate button where some lasers have it included, it's always on, is because when that's on, it actually uses more power. So it's a power saving feature. If you're not gonna be using a receiver, why use up the battery power? So that's why they included that as a separate feature.